Back in the day, Looney Tunes was a very popular series of cartoons. With fame comes a price. In the case of Hugh Harmon, the creator of Looney Tunes, that price was insanity. In 2006, a small group of fans were allowed into the old Warner Brothers animation department. These people have never been identified. They went into the room where Harmon wrote some episodes. When the group decided to take a picture, one of the members backed up to get a better shot when the back of his foot hit something. It was a small case, unwritten, on it were undecipherable scribbles and random sketches of unknown characters from Looney Tunes. Some of them even looked like prototypes of existing characters. Inside the case was a 35mm film reel. They picked it up, reading a label on the reel. It said, thud, probably as in Elmer Thud. They assumed it was a test reel, created by Mr. Harmon himself. They were excited and quickly went over to the reel projector that had already been set up beforehand. They loaded the reel up and started the projector. This was not a vintage projector, rather a modern one that you'd see in movie theaters that scanned the reel and then displayed it. Employees set it up for the group, knowing they would want to see some old cartoons. They proceeded to watch the film. The following information was collected when the video was analyzed. It started out to be nothing but static, as if the reel itself were interfering with a projector. Then came up a picture of Elmer Fudd blankly staring at the screen. The music was, well, not even music. It was one continuous note with varying pitches. Elmer's eyes were bulging and more realistic than what is usually seen in these cartoons. His hat, however, was a different story. It was poorly drawn and the color seemed to be scribbled on. The brown color from his hat overlapped his face a bit. The video got progressively more shaky. This went on for about 30 seconds. Elmer's face quickly overtook the screen. His eyes were dark red and he had white pupils. The static got worse than it ever was. You could barely decipher what was happening. All that could be heard was a grown man repeatedly screaming as if being tortured. This went on for about 30 more seconds. Then, as the screaming faded out, an image popped onto the screen. It was Bugs Bunny. His ribcage was exposed and his eyes were whited out. He was screaming with his hands covered in blood. The noise heard was screaming, and it sounded as if someone put a microphone right up to the screamer's mouth. The screaming was constantly cut off, and when he screamed, the static got worse. One could hear the faint sounds of the unsibling screams of an infant. The screen went black. After two seconds, a video clip of an unknown episode reversed. It was too distorted to see what it was. After the clip ended, a face with red eyes and red teeth appeared on the screen, accompanied by faint screaming. This concluded the video. Eyewitness accounts say that the group had run out screaming. One of them jumped out of a window while two others slit their necks with a shard of broken glass. The last one ran out, never to be seen again until 2007 when he robbed the studios and took the video with him. This could explain why it was uploaded onto YouTube. The question is why it took him until 2011 to upload it. It is said that he obsessed over it. It was his whole life, but after the robbery, he was never heard from again. Even when the authorities tried to track down the IP address that uploaded the video, it said it never existed. The video is still studied.